start of COVID, there were all of these conflicting news reports, um, not giving moms clear answers about what to do with their breastfeeding infant if they developed COVID. And I really saw the opportunity for this since we were already working with the Dutch Human Milk Bank on these antibodies in human milk and thought we can do this with COVID moms. We do research uh, in the simulation of uh, big crowds and uh, when Corona came, uh, the crowds weren't that big anymore and the behavior was completely changed. So what we had to do is to change our model to take into account the effects of social distancing. But then came the official lockdown and so we all uh, had to stay uh, home. That's also the moment that you start uh, really digging into the literature and really want to know what, what's this virus all about and uh, how can we, can we contribute. And gradually it became clearer and clearer that it also became a big problem for the Netherlands. Uh, and I also was invited uh, by Jan Kluitmans, uh, a medical doctor from uh, Breda. And based on his calculations, seemed that it would really become uh, a big problem in the hospitals there. So he asked me to check his calculations and basically they were correct. And partly because of his kind of efforts, uh, the hospitals really started taking action. Already we were um, planning to collaborate with a lab at the UMCU, which is uh, specialized in airway cultures, the lab of Jeffrey Bakeman. And then he told me that he was actually planning to collaborate with a virologist to see how to, um, to do a drug screen uh, on his cultures. And so then it was a perfect match because then we could do the high resolution imaging of these cultures. And so that's where we started together with uh, working together with Monique Nijhuis, Jeffrey Beekman and our lab. So using uh, human milk to also potentially treat or use therapeutically for more vulnerable populations towards COVID is a really interesting idea because milk is made in a way to protect this newborn infant who has a developing immune system. So it's really got a lot of these immune components in it that protect baby in a way that no other medicine or product does. So there was this opportunity to start this work and then it just spiraled out. It became this really huge project with several groups from Amsterdam involved and also Wageningen University. An example of a project uh, we are now doing related to COVID is to make a simulation for the Stadskantor in Utrecht. Uh, it's a big building with uh, many levels and there is data on how this building was used by uh, civil, civil servants or by the public. Um, but then COVID came uh, so what we do is we take the original data but then apply the effects of social distancing and then we can find out what the new capacity of this building is. It, it started basically at the end of January but uh, and I think within a month time it became from uh, it may be interesting to work on uh, this disease to basically everybody working full time on, the, on Corona. Very recently a uh, new research project uh, was uh, granted. Uh, we are doing that together with uh, uh, lots of people, including uh, people from uh, the TU uh, Eindhoven. And uh, this is a research uh, where, the, where we study how people move, for instance, in a sports uh, venue like Amsterdam Arena, and also how uh, virus particles via the aerosols move in this environment. And we try to combine this research to find out uh, what is safe and what isn't safe. At the start of this whole thing, this antibody profiling that we were doing in human milk, we were really just taking off with this. And this allowed us to fast track it in a way that otherwise we wouldn't have done because it would have just been shuffled among the normal everyday kind of work and you fit it in when you have time and now it's like that's the main focus of the day so we're coming up with new things all the time and it's really made us become very very fast in some of these technical challenges that we have analyzing these antibodies you know it gives a very nice uh, spirit so when i called uh, some of the lab members and asked them if they wanted to contribute to this project and sort of drop what they were doing and focus on this they were all very enthusiastic 
very rapidly we were able to establish these cultures and to have a lot of new collaborations. So it was very inspir inspirational actually.